Hello, this is Udo Dirkschneider and you listen to Heavy Demons. So, dear Udo, My Way is definitely a very personal album. And speaking generally, what shall the fans expect from it? What can the fans expect from me? Uh, a collection of uh, my favorite songs. And uh, definitely, I think... Um, but it was very important for me on this on this album um, to put my own character on there, you know. It was not like, I don't want to make like 100% cover versions, you know. Uh, I, and it also makes no sense to uh, start copy of Klaus Meiner, Rob Helford, Ronnie James Dio. I think... Um, that was a very important uh, point for me to put my own character on, and I think uh, I did. And I, I've had the pleasure to interview a couple artists you are tributing on my way, Arthur Brown and Andy Scott of Sweet. Yes. So which criteria did you use to choose the amazing songs for the album? Oh, Fire, I mean, of Arthur Brown, oh, I always liked this song, you know, especially when this song came out and I saw the first time, you know, when he had this fire on his head. I liked the song very much, you know, and um, also uh, Sweet, I was uh, a, a, yeah, I can't say a huge Sweet fan, you know, not the A side, I was always into the B sides, you know, okay. on the, of the singles, it was more heavy, but yeah, it was Hellraiser, I mean, it was for me, a must to do. Which songs did you find more easy to work on and which were more difficult? Mm, let's say quite hard to sing was Rock and Roll of Led Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. What's not so easy is really high. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but still I can do that. And uh, uh, definitely one song, yeah, this is in a way a little bit funny. Uh, I mean, the German song. It's the first time I sing in my mother language, Kalt yeah. zurück. Yeah. And that was really the most uh, heaviest song to do, you know. I mean, if you do, let's say, sing over well, over 40 years uh, just in English, you know. And yeah. also the English is coming out really smooth and easy going but if you uh, as i thought in the beginning okay it's easy to do your your singing on your own mother language no <laughs> yeah. it was not so easy you know also the, the 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 timing with the words and all that stuff you know that was not easy but interesting and i think in the end um, yeah i'm happy with that what shall the audience experience at the gigs of your forthcoming European tour later this year? Both songs from Game Over and My Way? No. Definitely, okay. uh, game Over. Game, game, there will be Game Over. And uh, still some old classic except stuff, but okay. maybe two or three, not more. In the encore, in, and uh, maybe, I don't know, we will see... Maybe if we are in a good mood and, and we like it, then maybe we, not every night, but maybe from, if we are in a good mood to play one or two songs of the cover album, you know, but it's not planned. Will you guys work on the follow-up to Game Over once the tour is done? Uh, let's say at the moment we are... Yeah, I mean, at the moment we have nothing to do. Yeah, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, but the first two of what, or the first things what we are doing is now in June, we go to South America. And I think this time Corona doesn't stop us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then we do a lot of festivals over the summer. <clears throat> and then we start uh, on the 1st of September, the European tour. So, but about the whole situation in Russia, you know, we normally were planned in October to do our Russian tour, yeah. but we cancelled everything, you know, but this, uh, under this, uh, uh, things what happen at the moment, uh, I want to do, I don't want to do a Russian tour, you know. So, and then that maybe gives, gives us more space to, yeah, I don't know, maybe do some more shows in Europe, but then the rest of the European tour goes until the end of November, beginning of December. Next year, we have to do America and Canada. 
it's already two times moving, what's moving, but now I think next year we can do it. And Japan is waiting. So, and uh, what we are doing at the moment is uh, we're collecting already some ideas for the next UDO album. You know, and see, yeah. okay, what kind of ideas we have and start slowly working on a new album before we sit home and do nothing. <laughs> yeah. And what does it mean to be 70 and still rocking all over the world? Oh, it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not tired. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, having fun to do this, you know. And uh, yeah, I always say as long I have fun, as long I'm healthy, as long my voice is working, and as long we can tour nearly all over the world. Yeah. Why I'm sitting home and do uh, maybe drinking coffee and eating cakes and uh, <laughs> watching TV the whole day? No, I mean, I mean, this is uh, definitely uh, for me. I will do it as long as possible, you know. And uh, yeah, we will see. I don't know. How would you describe to like a young fan the crazy days of the 80s with, with Accept? <sighs> The crazy days, yeah. I mean, the eighties were definitely more crazy than uh, is it than it is now. Yeah. I mean, a uh, lot of groupies around, you know, especially in America. It was a wild, 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 wild touring in America, definitely. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, it was more. How do you say? There's more glamour, you know, more parties going on. There was more money involved and all that stuff of the record companies, you know. I don't know. It was a different time. And I think now, uh, I mean, record companies don't have that much money anymore. Um, touring for young bands is also not so easy. They don't have a real support for, from the uh, record companies. I mean, the business is different, you know. I, you don't sell that much uh, 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 records anymore as it was in the 80s. I mean, of course, downloading and, and so on and on. But, um, yeah, I mean, I will always, when people ask me, what can you tell a young band uh, yeah. to, to, to be successful? I always say, believe in, your, believe in what you're doing. And uh, yeah, and I mean, the, the, the time is not the same as it was uh, in the 80s. Mm -hmm. It's different and it's hard to survive for, for a young band, you know. But I think the most important thing is believe in what you're doing. Have you got any memory, either musical or extra music, related to Italy? Oh, not really. I mean, I like very much Gianna Nannini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She has a great voice. <laughs> What do you think about, uh, you know, a movie which has got also part of the soundtrack by Accept, which is The Wrestler with uh, Mickey Rourke? Oh, this, this is, ah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I was really surprised that they choose this song, you know, so pff, very good for us, you know, <laughs> definitely, I mean, make the, make Ball to the Wall more, more popular. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I know uh, some quite famous American football or team or I don't know, uh, or that was the wrestling uh, stuff that they were playing, yeah. Before the show started, they play. They was playing ball to the wall, you know. So, yeah, great. Which uh, like uh, message and greeting would you send out to the Italian fans waiting for you to come over here? Yeah. So I mean, we started the European tour, and hopefully there will be two or three shows in Italy. So we're still working on the on yeah more shows in Europe. And uh, in the meanwhile, yeah, I would love to come to Italy again. And uh, in the meanwhile, stay heavy, stay healthy, and see you in Italy. Yeah, and uh, uh, one final invitation to buy My Way in order to get to know all those amazing songs. The uh, album is coming out in the second, no, the second, the twenty-second of yeah. April mm -hmm. in Europe, and yeah. I think it's uh, important that you have this album to see also which songs I like very much in the 70s and the 80s and the 60s. And it's a very interesting album, uh, a little bit difficult, I think, some songs, but I think you will enjoy it. So, better you get it.
it, it, it somehow describes your musical path uh, through the decades. Yeah, the, the, to the this decade, I mean, of course, I mean, that, that, let's say I was not really inspired by the songs as a, as a singer, yeah. but that was the songs I really like, you know, listen to these songs. I was really like, um, for other people, they like to listen to ACDC or listen to this and this and this. And that's just, you know, I, I try to, to make these songs interesting. I put my own character on it, and that's why I think it will be very interesting for the people.